Today we have the pleasure of speaking with an expert on the front lines of COVID-19. So nice to have you today, Francis Dubé from Zen Graphene. How are you? Hi, Tracy. I'm great. How have you been? Well, I'll tell you, we're going to start by just talking. I know, you know, COVID-19, it's impacted all of us. Let's talk about how Zen Graphene has been utilizing your technology to basically not only be on the front lines of COVID-19, but help us all get back to work sooner. Thanks, Tracy, for that. Yeah, we, uh, we've we been working hard at this um, since March. Basically, when our lab opened, we've been focused on this uh, solution to the problem. How can we get better protection for our frontline workers? How can we improve uh, HVAC uh, filters? And we've come up with a coating now that can be applied to masks and filter membranes to uh, pretty much deactivate the uh, COVID-19 virus. We've had work done on this, and it's been proven at 99% plus efficacy uh, through the Impact Facility, uh, which is a BSL Level 3 lab in um, London, Ontario. So we know it works really well. We know it's got staying power because we had uh, data of 35 days, and we're going to keep uh, working on that uh, longe uh, longevity study. But we know that after 35 days, this is still 99% effective at killing the COVID-19 virus. So we're very excited by this project. Uh, we're looking now at uh, you know other opportunities to scale up our production. Uh, we've had uh, calls from um, over two dozen enterprises across the world. Multiple countries are interested in this. Um, so it's uh, the the demand is there. I mean we're in the middle of this pandemic, so everybody's looking for a way to um, have a leg up on this. Um, situation we're in as a world. Well, speaking with regards to the pandemic, it was a couple years ago when I was asked to speak at a law firm at lunch, and I selected graphene as the topic du jour, and I started with, you know, how many people here know what graphene is and what it can actually do? So I think this is a good opportunity to have you just step back a couple of steps and help introduce some members out there that may not understand not only what graphene is, but how it can be used on the front lines of COVID-19, because you've had a couple of news releases on this matter. So if you just talk us through it, that would be great. Absolutely. So graphene is a, a nanomaterial. So what does that mean? That means it's basically in the nanometer range in size. If you look at the thickness of a hair, the thickness is equal to about a million layers of graphene. It just gives you a sense of size there. So we can now take this very small particle, dope it with a customized uh, silver, we call it an activated silver, that we've now patented. And because of its size now, we can actually spray this onto polypropylene or other materials that act as filters. And it now gives a protection level on this material now that when the COVID virus hits it, it doesn't just stay trapped on the surface where you can still rub your mask and still contaminate yourself, but it actually kills or deactivates the virus wherever it comes into contact with this nanomaterial. So having a material that is that small gives us an advantage of getting into every nooks and crannies of materials, uh, not impede the airflow, which is critical in these N95 masks, and uh, still be able to uh, have play a really big role in deactivating the virus. All right. So, for instance, masks. You can use this technology on masks. How does this make them more competitive than the endless thousands of types of masks that are out there? Well, again, the current mask technologies are only meant to filter out particles. So, you know, you get your oxygen flow and you're stopping about 95% of the particles of a certain size coming in through the N95 mask, as an example. These particle size are trapped uh, either on the surface or inside the mask. They're still active. If you have a virus, a COVID-19 virus on your mask, you can still touch your face. You can still rub it around. And I see people all the time, you know, they're in their local grocery stores and they're readjusting their mask. You know, if there's COVID on, your, on the front of your mask, you, you can still expose yourself to it. If you have a Zen coating on the mask, when the virus hits it, deactivates the virus, you can still play with your mask without as much risk um, to get COVID-19. So that's the transformational uh, um, technology here is we're deactivating the virus right where um, you know it's it's 
um, able to interact with the virus. I, I don't think a lot of people actually understand that. So we're going to have you uh, join a panel, be a guest panel, when we do a special on this coming up, please, Francis, if you'll if you'll indulge us. And then, can you just talk to us? You know, you know, you were talking about your news release. I'm not sure how to pronounce this. Graphene-based Virusudal Sudal Inc. Is that correct? Virusidal Inc. Yeah. There we go. There you go. So if you could explain to us, you've had a couple of news releases about this. I, I, we understand, I think most of us are, are gathering and understanding how your technology works and how these news releases can be applied to COVID-19. Can you tell us uh, what we as shareholders maybe should anticipate in the next couple of months? I mean, you've obviously got the mask deals covered. Are there other technologies you're currently negotiating for that you can comment on, or is that all fairly confidential at this time? So again, we're getting calls from around the world. Some people just want to be able to be our representative in their country. So we, we're, we're looking at signing you know, potential uh, deals and, 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 you know, giving exclusivity to certain markets. Um, so that's exciting. Uh, we still got some work to do on our on our end. We're still going through some testing uh, now at McMaster and, and the uh, Mount Sinai Hospital on bacteria and fungi. So we do believe our product is actually biocidal, not just virucidal. So we want to keep building the science around this product. So we're going through that right now. Uh, and we're also at the same time scaling up our opportunities um, in our facility. Uh, we'll have some news on that shortly. And um, yeah, basically right now the world's our oyster. There's not a lot of uh, companies that have a product like ours. As far as I know, we're pretty much the only one. The amount of companies um, trying to uh, get a niche in the marketplace for their mask, there's a ton of those. And having an advantage like having a virucidal agent on their mask is something that's very attractive. It's a marketing advantage to them. So we're really being sought out here by a lot of different companies around the world, literally. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Francis. We look forward to seeing what you guys announce next. Thank you so much. The next few months should be very exciting.